want to be a great leader, if you want to think like a CEO who makes amazing things happen, you want to have the kind of belief system, the kind of attitude that says you leave things better than you found them. Let me tell you a little story about an organization I had the opportunity to engage with recently. Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi, an executive coach with the Professional Development Group. I recently had the opportunity to work with the CEO executive leadership team of a grocery store chain that is making great things happen. They're changing all sorts of things about the way people buy groceries. But one of the things that's so inspiring to me about this particular leadership team is that they intentionally move people from role to role. So every 12 to 18 months, you know that you're going to be moved into another role, another seat at the table. This is giving people a perspective of the organization as a whole and enabling a solid, strong leadership team to form. They've also rippled this throughout their grocery store locations, meaning someone in the cheese department is also being cross-trained to understand the uh, meat department and likewise the vegetables. So what happens is if as a shopper I come in and say I'd like to purchase some truffled uh, mushroom cheeses and the person who's working in the department might say oh what are you planning to serve? And if I say I'm not sure yet but I have an inspiration here they might say I know the meat department really well and I know what this would go with let me show you or I know the wine department really well, let me show you how this could fit together. And they've intentionally created a foodie culture. So in their organization, in the break room, they have cooking shows being played. They do a cook-off where they invite employees to bring in ingredients and they'll do a test. How would you cook this? How would you prepare this? What are some menu items you'd put together with this? They make this foodie culture part of the way they're running their grocery store. One of their mottos is as a team, they want to be on the lookout for the trends and the things that are happening that cause customers to buy new foods and to think about foods in new ways. We could say that this team is being highly innovative. Why? Well, I would propose to you that it's because there's a group of leaders who are being high performing together. They're understanding not only their own silo, but they're also understanding the roles around them. And they see themselves as an integrated leadership team, not as the manager, of a siloed function. If you'd like more detail about cross-training specifically, we have a video on that topic. This team also has three questions that they regularly ask themselves. Who do we want to be more like? Who do we respect and why? And who inspires you and why? Play with these questions, live in them with your team. Begin to implement what you learn from living in those questions. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button below, ring that bell, and you'll be notified each time we put out a new video. Thank you for watching today, and I'll see you in the next one.